Here we have a system of linear equations. We have two equations and two unknowns. We can solve it in the normal way, algebraically, but here what we're going to try and do is solve it uh, using matrices. So let's take a look at what these equations are. 3x plus y equals 5, and 2x minus y equals 0. So what we're going to do is rewrite these in matri matrix form and then see if we can uh, simplify, solve, and then just get what x and y are from the matrices directly. So it's not shorter, but it's a nice way to do it with matrices. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is write this as a matrix equation. So we have some multiplication here. We have some product uh, of uh, matrices, and then that's going to equal just this simple vector here, 5, 0. So this we want to write as a product of some 2-by-2 uh, two two matrix times the the uh, vector with x and y, these are going to be our variables that we're solving for. And then we just write the coefficients of these uh, in this matrix here, this 2 by 2. So what we have is 3 and 1 and 2 and negative 1. Okay, great. So then what we want to do is find the coefficient matrix, uh, just using the formula for the coefficient matrix. Then we're going to take this equation, multiply both sides, the left-hand side and the right-hand side, by the coefficient matrix, and then we can simplify down to the identity matrix after we multiply, and then we can see what x and y are. So the coefficient matrix is given by this. We have 1 over what I think is called the determinant here. So we have 1 divided by uh, this times this, so 3 times negative 1. And then we say minus this times this, so minus 2 times 1. And it's a matrix after all. So what do we have in the matrix? Well, we have these two terms switched. So this is now 3 and this is negative 1. These terms stay the same, but they're negative, so negative 2 and negative 1. So let's just simplify this a little bit and then we'll see what we have from here. Okay, so the coefficient matrix is now 1 divided by this, which gives us, so we have 3 times negative 1 minus 2 times 1, so in other words negative 3 minus 2, which is going to be negative 5. So negative 1 fifth times, this is the same matrix again, minus 1, minus 1, negative 2, and 3. Great. So we have the coefficient matrix. Then, like I said, we're going to go here. We're going to multiply both sides by the coefficient matrix and just simplify down to the identity. All right, so let's write this out. Let's write the whole thing out. Negative 1 fifth times this matrix, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1, and 3. Let's make this a little more clear. Times what we have here. 3. 2, 1, negative 1, and x and y. Same thing here, coefficient matrix times the right-hand side. Negative 1 fifth times this matrix. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, and 3. And then finally what we have left, which is 5 and 0. Okay, so now we have a bit of a mess. We need to multiply all this out and simplify as much as is possible. So, what we have is a 2 by 2 times a 2 by 2, so that'll be the first thing we're going to want to multiply. We can leave the negative 5 out in front for now. So we have negative, sorry, negative 1 over 5, and then we're going to have just a 2 by 2 matrix left here. This will be the same x and y. And then, like I say, we'll have the negative 1 fifth out in front as well here. So when we multiply these out, it's the same way that we've done before with multiplying matrices. It's going to be one, the first row times the first column, add them together, etc. So we'll leave the, the arithmetic for you to do, but it's the same as the same matrix multiplication we've been doing before. So what this gives us is uh, just negative 5 and 0, and 0 and negative 5. So this is good. This is what we needed to happen, and that's what's going to happen when you find the coefficient matrix, is you're going to have zeros in these positions. The reason that's good is because then we have, when we multiply by negative one-fifth, it will simplify to just the identity matrix. So that's excellent. This uh, we can multiply out as well. 
and this just gives us negative 5 and negative 10. Like I say here, this multiplies out to give us the identity matrix. Negative 5 divided by negative 5, of course, is 1. So we have the identity times x and y equals negative 1 fifth times negative 1 fifth times this. So we can simplify that right away as well. So negative 1 fifth times 5 is, of course, 1. And negative 1 fifth times negative 10 is 2. So we can see that we're almost done here. If we have the identity times a vector, if we have a 2 by 2 identity matrix times a vector, that just gives us that vector back again. So that just gives us x and y is equal to the same thing we have here, 1 and 2. So let's stop here. We can see that we're actually done. We can't simplify this anymore. And we have our answer right away. We can just read it off. We don't want to write it in any other way. This is the matrix answer to this system of equations. So what we had from the very beginning uh, simplified down so that we have x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. And that is our final answer. So if we had done it algebraically, we would have got the same thing. This was just doing it uh, using matrices. So x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 2. And that's it.